Next up, the Minnesota Vikings. This year's fraudulent team, one of my least favorite teams to bet on ever. I, I cannot stand bad teams. Kevin O'Connell, I don't know what to make of him. Uh, his offense looks incredible sometimes. Kirk Cousins looks like the best quarterback in the world at times at home, and then on the road, he looks like a bum. They don't know really how to get the ball to Justin Jefferson, who, I don't know if you heard, is a pretty good receiver, pretty good wide receiver. Dalvin Cook disappears at times. Disaster, this team. They basically did nothing in the second half against a Jets defense that I know is very good, but man, they, they look like the, the Steel Curtain last week in the second half. The Vikings could not sustain a drive. They could not convert a third down. It was a pathetic performance in the second half. I don't know what to make of this team. They go on the road in Detroit. Over-under in that game set at 53. The Vikings are one-point favorites. Weird line. Weird line again. These Vikings lines are weird. Vegas thinks they're a fraud team, uh, and they're telling us week by week. This isn't a teaser game uh, because the over-under set a little bit too high at 53. Doesn't feel great if you're going to take the, the Vikings or the Lions here. With that said, the Lions themselves absolutely boat raced the Jaguars last week. They scored on like eight straight drives, something insane like that, where they were forcing turnovers and immediately scoring points. Their conversion from turnover to uh, point scored rate was one of the best we've seen in the NFL in like five years. Incredibly impressive performance by the multi-time coverage king, Dan Campbell. This Lions team that all they do is win games they maybe shouldn't. All they do is cover games. Now they get to host a Vikings team that is being overvalued by the public. Uh, Not by Vegas though. Give me the Detroit Lions at home money line. This is my favorite play of the week. They are going to make a statement by winning at home in a divisional matchup. Revealing to the world maybe giving the first inklings uh, that this Vikings team is fraudulent. Give me Dan Campbell. Give me Jared Goff. Jared Goff in December is weirdly, weirdly good uh, since coming to Detroit. So I love betting on them. I love betting on the sun god. I'm on Ra to take care of business this week against a Vikings team that is so, so, so overvalued. Give me the Detroit Lions here. 